Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor with Deep Onion. As most of you know, we got an announcement that we need to do a mandatory upgrade to our wallets. Don't be alarmed, don't be scared. This is really good news. The reason why we need to do this is because Deep Protocol or our stealth addresses is about ready to be released. So in order to use that amazing feature, we need to update our wallets. Now for Mac users like me, usually you just have a DMG, you click on it, let it do its thing. Pretty simple, easy, ready to go. But that version is not ready yet. The devs are working hard to get that version ready for us. In the meantime, there is a workaround. It's easy to do, easier than it sounds. Like me, I am not a programmer. And I look at these, sometimes I look at these instructions and look at code, my eyes gloss over, I fall asleep, get a headache, stuff like that. <laughs> it's really easy to do though. Just follow these simple steps that I'm gonna show you in this video and you'll get your wallet up and running. All right, let's hop on over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is open a terminal here on our Mac. To do that, up here I'm gonna click on Go, and then Utilities, and then double click here on Terminal. And then our terminal opens up, and now we want to write in our first line of code. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Now, the first code we want to run is this one. And I'm just going to put it right here in that box. Hit enter or return. Now it's going to ask us to hit return to continue. And now we want to type in or key in our password. This is your admin password for your computer. All right, now we just let it run and do its thing. Okay, there we go. And now we brought up that little, the Matthew Taylor's iMac. This means that we can go ahead and key in a new code. So we wanna type in these next codes, we, and all the codes for that matter, you wanna make sure you do them individually and then wait as they do their thing. Don't get antsy and start pasting in a bunch of them at a time. All right, this next one. Paste that in. And if you see there at the top, you can see it doing a bunch of things for you. All right, so after pasting that first line of code, we had to wait for a little bit, and you want to wait until you see this line right here before you key in or paste in the next code, okay? So now let's paste in the next code. Hit return, let it do its thing. All right, we got the next one there. Time to put in the next line of code. All right, that one is done. Time to put in the next one. All right, that one is done. Time to paste in the next one. Let it do its thing. All right, that one's done. Next one. All right, that one took a really long time. I had to stop my recording and let it do its thing. It took about 20, 25 minutes just for that one line of code. But remember, you just need to sit there and let it do its thing. Time to do the next one. That one was nice and fast. Next one. All right, that one's done. Next one. That one is quick. Next one. Great, next one, all right, next. That 
That one's done. Next. Great. That one is complete. Let's go for this next one. That one's done. And now this last one from that main batch. Great. Now we want to paste in this line of code here. All right, now we want to put in this one. Skip the step, sorry about that. We want to type in CD deep onion. All right, now we want to put in this one. Hit return. All right, now we want to put in this next one. Hit return. It's doing all kinds of cool stuff. I haven't got a clue what it's doing, but it looks like it's doing some good stuff. Let me just sit here and watch the screen as my eyes glaze over watching all this code. All right, that was fun. Now let's go ahead and put in this cool little command right here. Bam. It's okay if you see some warnings. Those are fine, just let them go. All right, and when it finishes, we'll get to this screen right here and it looks like it worked great. And now what we wanna do is the deeponion.comp steps. Let me go to go. Go to folder, library support, go, and then find the deep onion folder right there. Good. Click on that. And now we want to open up this deeponion.conf and replace the nodes. I am going to open it with my text edit and we want to remove all these. There are a ton of them in here. I'm just going to highlight them all. Hit delete. And now I want to get the new ones. Now you want to make sure to put this listen equals one in there as well. All right, so here are those new nodes. Perfect. And then I'm going to come up here, file, save. And then you can X out of that. Okay, also here on the desktop. When you're right here on the desktop, just have the cursor here on the desktop. Do Command Shift G. And then we're gonna put this in there. And I kinda did this out of order. You could do the nodes after this, or you can do this step before doing the nodes, or do this step after doing the nodes. Here's our little deep onion QT. Now we want to do right click, copy, paste on the desktop. Here it is right here. I moved my wallet, which is this EXEC, down here on the taskbar. Now I'm going to click on it. It's going to open up a terminal. Nice cool picture. Loading the block index. There is the wallet, now it needs to sync. 
One thing to note, this terminal box right here, you need to keep that open along with your, when your wallet's open. If you try to X that out, it'll ask you to terminate uh, the wallet. So you need to keep that open along with your wallet for this version until the DMG version comes out. And there we go, we are fully synced. 12 active connections already to the Deep Onion network. And it is up to date and working nicely. Congratulations, you should have a new Mac wallet ready to go. If you have any questions, comments, please comment down below. Um, we'll try to help answer your questions and get everything running properly for you. Please do not spam our devs, especially Brock Mitch. Uh, they will be able to help, just give them some time and be patient. And if I can help you also, I will do what I can to help you as well. Or if anyone else in the community can help, I'm sure they will chime in to help you out. Take care. See you in the forum.